Hey guys, welcome back to All in Law. This is a medical video lecture, orthopedics. Okay, and today we're gonna talk about very important topic, very important tumor, having sarcoma. Remember, it's a highly malignant tumor, okay? It's a highly malignant. Affecting the age group of wide range is 10 to 20 is the most common. Or sometimes it can go up to 30 years of age also. Okay? And what is the cause for aiming sarcoma is um, the cause, the exact cause is not known. Okay? exact cause is not known right however there has been what you call a theory that uh, having sarcoma has been maybe may have been derived from a neural crest neural crest possibly the missing chimal stem cells mesenchymal stem cells okay and this what you call the origin of having sarcoma from neural crest or mesenchymal stem cell um, might have uh, taken a pathway through this pathway known as post ganglionic cholinergic neurons pathway through which it has been originated maybe what you call post ganglionic cholinergic neurons okay guys as i said the exact cause of this having sarcoma is not known but they, it this because um, they thought that it might arrive from what you call the neural crest okay so um, Regarding the pathology of this, the most common bone affected, the bones affected in, these, in this disease, having sarcoma, is the long bones. Okay? Long bones. In a two-third of the patient, long bones are more affected. And in what you call, in lesser percentage, is the flat bones are also affected. If you talk about the long bones, the long bones being femur and the tibia, femur and the tibia, okay guys, pretty important, right? And if you talk about the pel uh, flat bones, they are pelvis and the calcaneum, okay? Sometimes these what you call having sarcoma is known as to have multicentric origin. Means they have multi centers, multicentric origin. Okay, guys, right? So if we we know that it affects the most commonly the long bones, fat, flat bones are also affect, affected. In long bones, which is that side where it arises from, it's a diaphysis. Remember, it's a diaphysis. Very important. You should never ever forget the having sarcoma, let me write ES, arises from what you call uh, diaphysis. Right? So you know epiphysis, metaphysis, and a diaphysis. If this is epiphysis, this is metaphysis, and this is going to be, and this is whole going to be diaphysis. Right, guys? Then again, you have metaphysis of the lower end, epiphysis of the lower end. Right? So it affects what? But remember, it can arise from anywhere. It doesn't mean that it should arise from some other part. But most commonly, it arises from the diaphysis only. Okay, guys? If you talk about the genetics of this, what is the cause? 
genetics of having sarcoma. This what you call there has been a translocation of EWS R1 having sarcoma breakpoint region 1 having sarcoma breakpoint region 1 with an ETS transcriptor factor ETS transcription factor gene okay remember and the most common what you call the translocation you see in uh, these patients there's 85 percent of patients will have a translocation of T1122 sorry 1122 right translocation okay right guys so just get an idea don't go in detail regarding the genetics of this because this is meant for USMLE and this is more than enough for you guys Remember the genetics, remember the gene, translocation EWSR1, ETS, okay? Translocation of EWSR1, okay, with an ETS, okay, that is the E26 transformation specific transcription factor gene occurs in more than 95% of the having sarcoma patients, okay guys? So let's talk about grass. If you look at the, what you call the Look at the um, having sarcoma through your open eyes. So tumor characteristically involves a large area, even the entire medullary cavity can be affected. entire medullary area medullary cavity can be affected remember and if you look at the color the color the color of the what you call the having sarcoma is gray white and if you touch it it is what you call soft okay and thin sometimes it can be thin also okay And the bone on which there is the origin of having sarcoma, the bone may be expanded and periosteum is elevated with subperiosteal knee bone formation. Bone is expanded with what you call uh, the periosteum elevated. Okay with subperiosteal new bone formation new bone formation okay guys and the tumor rupture through the cortex early and extending the soft tissues remember okay and if you take out the histopathology of this histology of this Okay, if you take out the cut section and see, tumor compri what you call comprises of sheets and a quite uniform small cells. Uniform small cells. Okay. Their cells, this these cells resemble as of lymphocytes. Right guys, and tumor cells surround the central clear area forming pseudo rosette. Okay guys, and this tumor grows fast, metastasis through the bloodstream to the lungs and the other bones. Okay guys, so it forms a pseudo rosette with a central clearing area surrounded by the tumor cells. Right. Let's talk about the clinical features. What are the signs and symptoms? As we said, this having sarcoma is the most common, what you call the age affected is the 10 to 20 years. Okay. 10 to 20 years. And it, it can be up to what you call 30 years. Remember, but the most common being the 10 to 20 years. Okay. And the important signs and symptoms will be the pain and swelling 
okay there may be history of a trauma preceding onset but usually incidental remember okay and often there is associated of fever okay palpable mass right back pain okay and weight loss because this is a type of highly malignant cancer the patient will have a what you call them um, weight loss and there can be signs of uh, metastatic signs right if it affects the lungs then you have the signs and symptoms of the lung affecting okay right and remember since the patient will have swelling and the pain so this might confuse you whether the patient has osteomyelitis or having sarcoma right then you have to differentiate then you have to take a radiological features you have to look for that the best being the x-ray in a typical case there is a lytic lesions in the medullary zone of mid shaft of the long bones okay medullary zone lytic lesions right and the cortex the cortex there is a destruction and the newborn formation in the layers known as onion onion peel onion peel appearance right guys just google the images guys you will get plenty of images just try to look for those images okay but remember onion peel appearance is seen in having sarcoma okay in a typical in what you call atypical presentation the tumor may be located in the metaphysis as we said that having sarcoma arises from the diaphysis in the most of the cases but it can arise from any other side also so if it arises from metaphysis may be confused with osteomyelitis because osteomyelitis arises from metaphysis why because there is a lot of blood supply in the in the metaphysis right there's a junction of the blood supply. That's why the infection chances of infection is more at that side. Right? And if you look at it, it may have predominant what you call a soft tissue component with a little cortical destruction. Okay? And sometimes it gets confused. It confuses you whether it's a soft tissue sarcoma or having sarcoma. Okay? And if you talk about the flat bones, as we know, the flat bones like a pelvis and the calcaneum is affected. In a flat bones, it's primarily a lytic lesion with hardly any new bone formation. So, you don't see any new bone formation, but you see lytic lesions. Right? Let's talk about the treatment. Okay, guys. So, remember, this tumor is highly radiosensitive. Highly radio sensitive tumor melts quickly but reoccurs. In most cases, distance metastasis has occurred by the time the diagnosis is made. So, so as I said before, this tumor is highly malignant. Before, okay, before you diagnose, it has spread to the other sites also. Okay. Right, guys. So remember, even the chemotherapy consists of what you call chemo consists of uh, vincristine, cyclophosphamide, adriamycin. Okay, these cycles and repeated what you call they repeat the cycle. This combination of the chemotherapy drug every three to four weeks for about twelve to eight cycles. Okay. And what's the prognosis? If you ask me the prognosis, guys, the prognosis is poor. It's very poor or poor, right? Since because it's highly malignant and the time, by the time they present to you, it has always spread to the other parts of the body. So it's a really very bad prognosis it has, okay? Right, guys? So these are the very important points. I might have missed uh, some, what you call, other features of... Uh, having sarcoma if you know it then please do tell us through the comments so that it can benefit us and your friends also right guys remember this having sarcoma has to be differentiated from other tumors of bone like osteosarcoma osteoclastoma chondrosarcoma okay in the next video we're going to talk about the other tumors in detail thank you so much for watching this video 
please thumb up the video please do share our videos with your friends thank you take care